what are the different tools that are used uh, on each step like and how they help you know in the process of this devops life cycle yeah yeah uh, so uh, as i said like this with this like infinite sign that uh, Yusufa showed like it's all about like most of these like are um, handled by the CI CD. So there are like multiple CI CD, uh, CD solutions and this is really like the starting point. If you want to get used to like, you know, the DevOps philosophy and everything, like the first thing you should start, you should start with is CI CD. So CI CD key responsibilities, like basically CI CD is like a set of automations, uh, a set of automations which ensures like the code quality so you can ensure that the contribution to the projects uh, don't introduce code smells vulnerabilities by designs which could lead to technical debt so in the end like you prevent like too much technical debt to, to happen uh, this is important when you're working with a team and this is important when you're working alone as well because when you're working alone you you, you can think of everything so with that you can also avoid functional regression by setting up um, uh, unit test and to end testing and so it also this way it also enforces team to be more responsible for the quality assessment of their own work so thinking, thinking of, the, of that by, by the way like you, you can also implement something which is called code coverage so you calculate like the coverage in terms of unit tests of the code and so you see so if someone contributes to, to the project you see okay you had a new code but you haven't tested it with, with, properly with unit tests and so to keep like uh, entering code quality we have like these re requirements uh, so yeah and also like CICD uh, provide a clean isolated environment to build predictable artifacts in an automated and predictable way so you don't want to build like your web API on, on your Mac and like 10 days after it's like your colleague which is building the web API on his Mac maybe with like different environment variables yeah. and all this stuff maybe with a different version of node which is not like properly described and noted like in the docs or in the CI CD automation so this is this is important and in the, in the end you also want to chip this artifact seamlessly with low effort to deploy your project to production yeah yeah that is great and can you name like few tools like that we specifically use like uh, uh, for instance like uh, people are using you know terraform or like you can say cloud mm -hmm. formation mm -hmm. why why these tools are important and like yeah. uh, for instance for uh, managing your code uh, we are using github or gitlab so can you tell us about that yeah so basically um, when when you start a project when you start an app um, doesn't matter of the nature of it like everything should start with git okay everything okay. should start with um with a version management tool, okay? So use Git, use Subversion, use Mercurial, I don't know, but like most of the people use Git. And actually like the CI CD solution I, I talked about, it will plug on it. Okay. So yeah, and for like your whole workflow to function like properly with like the best, best practices and best standards, you also have to define like a, a Git flow. So this is important, but we can maybe get back to it later so I can answer your original question. So sure. for CI CD, you can. I, I, I like uh, the GitLab, um, the GitLab stack. So GitLab CI CD, like it's a, it's a great CI CD tool. Um, for example, if you're working in like a big team in a uh, in a big company, you can also set up your own Jenkins instance. That's a really that's a nice like CI CD tool. Uh, yeah. Some people use a tool called B Build Kite. Also, it's yeah. it's nice. <laughs> it has it has so, some nice features. Like it really depends actually on your team culture and how people are willing to contribute to the system because. Like you just don't configure like a CI CD tool and then ju just let it li li live its life. Like you have to maintain it as well. You have to enhance it. And sometimes like pe people from product or from QA, like in your company, they will come to see you and say, okay, like uh, we want to change like the way we deploy um, uh, our apps to production. We want to, to change the way we deploy our apps to the staging platform, the QA platform and so on. So so yeah, like it, it's, it's a product, it's your own product that you will have to own and maintain. And yeah, so GitLab CI CD Jenkins are a great start to be honest, and GitHub actions, of course, if, if you work yeah. on GitHub. 
yeah that is good because like uh, all there are like a lot of tools like uh, mm. if you do not know much about like devops i would say like there are like thousands of tools yeah. different tools for monitoring logging uh, building our code like uh, as thomas mentioned about like uh, build kite build kite what build kite does is like it builds the code and sends to the next stage right mm. the next stage can be you know deploying the core or again like there are some other process going on so then jenkins also has uh, like different like plugins and different functionality that it can build your code it can execute test cases and check like if the code is okay then it will like push the code to the deployment mm. server and then your code is deployed so there are like numerous softwares like uh, and tools in this uh, devops journey like we will talk about uh, all of them in detail like uh, uh, in the upcoming questions so so yeah maybe to add one, one last thing is that the ci cd tool you choose is really important and it should have the features that uh, fit to your like daily workflow and also to the way you want to deploy things uh, basically um so yeah you you should pay attention to that and have that in mind like right before because some ci cd tools have some features some ci cd tool enable you to have a certain workflows and some don't so yeah be be aware of that like I, decide I also, your workflow before before choosing this yeah right. i also think like you also have to you know see your product as well analyze your product analyze mm. your team because yeah, yeah. It, for yeah, instance for, team, yeah. for instance i work in like a big company they're like 1000 employees i see their setup right i said oh, this is so cool you know they have all these tools everything mm. and then i started i shift my job i am working in another company they are like 20 people and i am like i will implement the same uh, devops uh, you know mm. environment in uh, that uh, 1000 people company is using yeah. in a 20 people company it will be a chaos because it mm. requires like a big team to manage yeah. it as well so you have to whatever the environment is it should be based on your product your team capacity if your team capacity is you know small uh, then you should you know have a simple workflow rather than having a like a complex mm-hmm. workflow mm-hmm. yeah yeah